Welcome to another episode of the Ezra channel. Um, in this video we are going to prep our second bike to be ready to roll out on a racetrack. This is um, basically the same bike as the other one you saw earlier. Uh, since we crashed this bike on the track during the last track day, um, yeah, it's now time to finish this one up and um, get it running. The engine is fine. On this bike it runs quite well, all standard, nothing nothing really done to it, just an oil change. Um, and today we are going to change out the rear shock, since this um, the shock in, in this bike is um, not working really well and we have a working uh, replacement part so we are going to swap those out and uh, in this video I will show you how I do this. Uh, Rob is with me again and together we will get this done. Uh, one special bit about this bike is that it has a aftermarket oil cooler. Um, we um, installed this oil cooler to the um, to the bike to um, yeah help with the cooling of the engine because we noticed that um, using the standard radiator and this um, standard oil cooler that's in the bike is uh, not enough cooling for um, sustained riding so we have this aftermarket um, oil radiator in there fixed it in the front on the bike and uh, yeah tapped it into the engine and it's uh, Oh, it's working like a charm. Uh, since uh, we are not just going to change the uh, rear shock, but also the exhaust system, which will be featured in another video, um, it is important that we drain all the coolant first. So um, a good way to do this is uh, unplug um, this this coolant hose right there so um, all the coolant can flow out of the radiator and this hose which is basically the lowest point of the whole cooling system so you get um, most of it out in uh, one flush So next up is uh, the removal of the tank. You can see it in the upper half of um, the video. It's just those two screws in the back, which is um, an Allen key, I think it's six mil and an M8 bolt. So just pull those out, unplug all the hoses from the tank and you're good to go. Uh, just be careful with the, um, with the fuel lines. There's uh, one shorter one which um, goes from the um, fuel pump straight into the fuel rail. You just can unplug this, there won't be any uh, fuel flowing out of the tank. But there is a return line coming from the fuel line back into the fuel tank. And the problem with this line is if you have still fuel left in the tank and you will un unplug this from the, um, at the fuel line, um, tank will drain out through this hose like completely so what we do with our uh, race bikes is um, to put some um, yeah some quick connectors in there so um, we have two hoses actually one fixed to the fuel rail and one fixed to the um, to the return feed from the tank and you can just unplug them and um, there are two valves in there in these quick connectors and they would shut up the uh, shut off the uh, the fuel flow so you can just disconnect it and um, remove um, the fuel tank even when there's fuel left in the tank. So next up uh, Rob will um, loosen this nut here. Uh, this is the main, main nut which holds the rear shock in place. This is um, 27 millimeter and uh, it's quite tight on there, 
but as soon as it's loose, um, yeah, it goes quite easy. I'll just be sure to not undo it fully now because the next step, uh, as you can see here, is to um, unscrew the lower uh, fixing point of the rear shock, which is a 14mm bolt. Um, this sits in there quite tight, so um, yeah, be ready to put some force on there. And as soon as you have this, uh, this uh, bolt yeah, loosened up, uh, get your mate to help you uh, lift up the rear end of the bike so you can pull out the whole bolt. So after that you can um, remove the upper nut and the whole shock assembly will drop into the frame. After that's done, uh, you need to remove two um, 10 mil bolts, which hold this plastic tray um, in position and fixed onto this uh, rear subframe. Um, once you have undone these two bolts, you can push this um, plastic tray a bit down, like so. And uh, this allows you to pull out the old shock, just like this. Here we go. And then of course, um, insert the new shock um, or the replacement, whichever you have, um, into the same spot, the same way. So after um, you inserted the new shock, uh, make sure to fix both uh, mounting points, meaning um, this upper nut and the bolt uh, on the bottom. As with all bolts and nuts on this bike, uh, you can always look for the correct torque setting in the uh, workshop manual. Here we have the lower bolt, this time from the other side. It's this one here. Um, it can be a bit tricky to get in or just have your mate lift up the rear wheel again a bit so you can uh, get the bolt in there. So next uh, the tank goes back in. Just drop it on there, um, tighten down the two bolts on the back. I'll lift the tank up and um, connect all the hoses and um, the fuel pump. <laughs> 